Both black and tan coonhound and blue tick coonhound originated from the United States. Both are the same height and having the, almost the same weight. Black and tan coonhound and blue tick coonhound have the same lifespan. They have almost the same litter size. Both black and tan coonhound and blue tick coonhound require moderate maintenance. They're okay choices for new or inexperienced donors. These breeds are great with children. Both the black and tan coonhound and blue tick coonhound are very low maintenance and easy to groom. These dog breeds are very vocal and will bark or howl frequently. Besides the common traits, these breeds differ from each other in many ways. Blue Tick Coonhound History The Blue Tick Coonhound is an American breed that dates back to colonial times. This hound most likely originated from the crossing of various American hounds with European hounds such as the Grand Blue de Gascon or French Staghound, and the English Foxhound. The Blue Tick Coonhound was originally called the English Coonhound, but his name was changed in 1946. The breed has been recognized by other kennel clubs like the United Kennel Club for decades, but the Blue Tick Coonhound was not officially accepted into the AKC Hound Group until 2009. Appearance the smooth, glossy coat is dark blue, thickly mottled with black spots on the back, ears, and sides. The head and ears are mostly black, with tan markings over the eyes and on the cheeks. The blue tick coonhound has dark red ticking on the feet, the lower legs below the body line, the chest, and below the tail. Males stand 24 to 30 inches at the shoulder and weigh 55 to 100 pounds. Females are 23 to 28 inches and weigh 45 to 85 pounds. Personality Intelligent, goofy, and affable. Blue tick hounds are a highly energy breed that grows attached to its family and it's accepting of new people. They're friendly and lovable, but without enough exercise, they become difficult to manage. Give them a job to do and they'll be calm and laid-back companions. They're hounds, so they may be stubborn or selective when it comes to obedience, but with consistent training and a sense of humor, the blue tick is a good-natured breed. A blue tick coonhound may make a good watchdog. That coonhound bay won't be missed and will scare off any intruder, but they're too friendly to act as a designated guard do. There is no lack of energy when it comes to the blue tick coonhound. They can be rambunctious without enough exercise, but after they've had a chance to burn their energy may become couch potatoes. Training the intelligent but stubborn blue tick coonhound learns basic obedience with ease. The trouble is in getting him to comply with your requests if he thinks there's something better to do. Some training priorities include basic manners, no jumping up, and a solid recall. Though they may be trained to bark at only certain times, the breed is a vocal one and it's in their nature to the bay. Positive reinforcement is the best approach to training a blue tick as they have a sensitive side and may choose to ignore harsh correction. Health Problems Responsible breeders strive to maintain the highest breed standards as established by kennel clubs like the AKC. Dogs bred by these standards are less likely to inherit health conditions. However, some hereditary health problems can occur in the breed. The following are some conditions to watch for. Hip dysplasia, ear infections, or otitis. Diet and nutrition. A blue tick coonhound will need about 2.5 cups of dry dog food per day. If your dog gulps its food, it's best to give two smaller meals per day and look into feeding systems that slow the delivery of food. Be sure to monitor your pet to see whether he is gaining weight as obesity can shorten a dog's lifespan and putting him at risk for other conditions. Talk with your veterinarian to get recommendations for a feeding schedule, food amount, dog food type, and exercise needs. Black and Tan Coonhound History 
bred to be hunting dogs for a long time, was referred to as the English Coonhound. The Black and Tan Coonhound is one of the six recognized breeds of Coonhound, and they were all developed in the United States. In 1945, breeders broke away from their English counterparts, renaming the larger dog to Black and Tan Coonhound. Not much is known of their origin, but it seems as though with selective breeding between French hounds, foxhounds, and English coonhounds, the Black and Tan Coonhound was produced. Originating in the United States of America, it was in 2008 that the Black and Tan Coonhound was recognized by the AKC in the miscellaneous class. Appearance This is a medium to large dog that sports a dark blue and white coat that is densely mottled or thick. The Black and Tan Coonhound's coat can be described as tricolored, and the dog's head and ears are essentially blacks. He can also have tan markings on the chest, below the tail, around the muzzle, and over the eyes. The dog is muscular and athletic and weighs from 25 to 36 kilograms. Typically of the hound breed, he has a sad but amicable expression on his face. Personality This working scent hound was bred to work closely with other hounds, so he knows how to go along and get along with canine pals. With people he doesn't know, he might be reserved but never shy or vicious. He can be headstrong and likes to have his way, but with firm, consistent, patient training, the black and tan coon hound is a well-mannered companion, albeit one who's slow to mature. Expect to have a fun-loving puppy on your hands for at least three years. At home, he's an easy-going friend, but put him back on a scent trail and he's as serious as a heart attack. This compulsion to follow his nose means you won't ever want to have him off-leash unless you're in an enclosed area. Training Black and tense coonhounds are smart, which makes them excellent candidates for training, although their stubborn, independent streak can sometimes get in the way. It's essential to train this breed properly and early, since when left to their own devices, the black and tan coonhound is apt to take off on a hunting spree or to howl loudly for all to hear. Black and tan coonhounds are generally healthy, though they may present breed-specific health concerns including hip dysplasia, ear infections, blood clotting disorders, etc. You can minimize serious health concerns in a black and tan coonhound by purchasing him from a reputable breeder who engages in responsible breeding practices and through screening for common diseases and conditions. Nutrition Black and tan coonhounds require a high-quality dog food that is age-appropriate. Whether it's commercially manufactured or homemade, with a veterinarian supervision and approval, it is important to monitor the amount of food you give your black and tan coonhound. Reduce the portions or restrict calories if your pup gains weight. Your veterinarian is always a good source to help provide you with appropriate nutrition and feeding guidelines. If you're considering any of these breeds, don't forget to check your local shelter and consider rescuing your new furry family member. Check out this playlist for more details on popular pet breeds. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notices so you don't miss more videos about our preferred animal pooches and far more. See you in the next video.